I wanted to show you this food that came up in our garden. <laughs> so right there with the tunnels is a whole bunch of brassicas that we started early in the season. Some of them by seed in pots that we planted out and then some we planted as seeds and put out. And the ones that we started in the pots did better. I think that somebody just came off and nipped off all the young plants on the others. But we usually always cover them because we have a lot of cabbage white butterflies here and they host on brassicas and it's just easier to cover them than to pick off caterpillars. So this late in the season they're not doing a lot of egg laying, a little bit, so it doesn't really matter. And that um, straw colored plant in the middle is actually bolted cilantro. So for those of you that cook you know that the seeds then are coriander. And we use both cilantro and coriander, but we always let a huge percentage of the seeds drop into a bed because then we get an early crop of cilantro. And self-sowing cilantro seems to do the best, way better than when we plant it. So anyways, my point is that we have these brassicas in here, which are offering us some really nice winter greens. And then in this bed right next to here, we dug out, what did we take out of here? Onions, I can't remember, something earlier in the season. And it was all done and Steve sowed it to crimson clover, cover crop, you can see that there. And that goes all the way down to the end of that bed. And some little buns have been in here munching on it, too cute. But we noticed this other plant come up and we both recognize it as gallon soga, which is often referred to as a weed. And I can't remember the scientific name right now, so I'm gonna put that in the description. But gallon soga is a wild edible. So make sure you, of course, check everything for yourself. So I looked at it for us, and we have eaten it raw and sauteed, and it's awesome. And look at this. Okay, there's the end of the bed. Here's my foot. And it came up in more than half of this bed. And we did nothing. And it's edible. And Steve and I love greens. We love them so very much. And sometimes we are not having a bunch because we just don't, we haven't grown them or we haven't been to see a farmer that has them. And then we resort to buying things at Kroger, which is okay. I mean, it's wonderful that we have access to food like that, but most of those are coming from the West Coast, which is kind of nutty. So it's really wonderful to have our own greens. So I don't know how frost hardy gallon soga is. I know that kale and a bunch of these others that we have in the bed over are frost hardy. So we are hitting this gallon soga hard. Now one thing you want to make sure when things come up, like here is velvet leaf. I don't know about the edibility of that plant. And so you want to make sure that you are eating a bunch of things that are mixed in, but I'm thrilled. <laughs> what was considered a weed is a really abundant food that we had to do nothing for, except create a nice happy garden space.